Hello, I'm Jim Nelson. I'm Yield Challenge coordinator for this um, Yield Challenge of the Illinois Soybean Association. Jim, can you tell us a little bit about Yield Challenge and just tell us what is Yield Challenge? Well, Yield Challenge is a concept that has been in development for two or three years as we started looking at how to maximize yields in soybeans. We realized that soybeans had not gotten the attention they need to really bump the yields and to make progress in them. So there's been a collaboration with a lot of uh, researchers, uh, University of Illinois, Southern Illinois, even some involvement with uh, ISU and WIU, and we've uh, put together a lot of researchers and agribusiness people who have helped us develop a good program to help expand ideas and innovation on what can really bump soybean yields. Jim, uh, what is the goal for Yield Challenge? Well, the goal is to really bring back a lot of good information and data. So it's been called Yield Challenge because while it has some contest con uh, parts to it, really the inf information is what we're after and ways to take that back to farmers and to researchers to develop that further. Okay. Uh, who and how can uh, people participate in Yield Challenge? Well, the people that we would like to participate in are the actual farmers. We want to take it right out to real world conditions on their farm. And uh, we're doing that through a network of uh, sponsors that uh, involve agribusiness people and people that have interest in, in the yield uh, and the soybean industry. And uh, we're also going to students and we're going to FFA chapters and the community colleges and of course there will be researchers involved in this as well. Uh, why should teams and other FFA chapters and community colleges participate in Yield Challenge? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Some of it's just the fact that they don't want to be part of this uh, involvement where we really do something that helps the yields in Illinois and makes Illinois farmers more globally competitive. But there's also things that can bring back right to their farm. We're uh, involving a lot of uh, soil testing and some unique testing and uh, SCN or cyst nematode testing. Some of that's very expensive and the farmers are not doing it. We're going to a greenhouse and, and looking at populations of cysts and finding out whether or not that is, is something that they're uh, their method right now of uh, finding resistance is actually working or not. But there's also uh, prizes or uh, awards available and a lot, of, uh, a lot of information that will be shared. Can you tell us a little bit about some of those incentives for people who participate? Okay, incentives in what way? Oh, the, the, pri the awards? Yes. Okay, we're going to have a competition within the crop reporting districts in Illinois and that helps us divide out the different parts of the state because it's so diverse. And we're looking at how a team can compete against other teams and look at who's going to be uh, available for the best yield. And the best yields will then have cash awards of uh, gift cards to the individual farmers, or in the cases of schools, we're actually making an award to the school. Okay. Um, what are the different ways that people can get involved with Yield Challenge? Well, first of all, you can just go to our website, and uh, if you go to the Illinois Soybean website at ilsoy.org, that's a great place to find out more about it. But I'm also encouraging people to talk to their agribusinesses and see if they're developing teams and if not, encourage them to because that's the real vehicle that's going to bring a lot of different teams together. And we, by doing that, we think we're going to have five to 600 different plots in the state of Illinois, which is a massive amount of data that we can process. I know this uh, plan is getting started in the spring. What are some of the upcoming deadlines and some of the upcoming things that you guys are working on? Well, right now, I think it's really important to um, develop teams, and the deadline that we have for sign-up has now been moved to the 15th of April. It's been a, a late season for everybody, and we moved it back a, a couple of weeks, and that's really going to help a lot of people get organized and uh, strategize on how they want to approach this. If people want more information about Yield Challenge, uh, who can they call? Where can they go? Well, they can they can call the, uh, the soybean office. Uh, they can call me, and, and uh, I think the best way to get those numbers is to go right onto the website. And what is the website? It's uh, ilsoy.org, or you can also get it at uh, soyyieldchallenge.com. All right, thanks, Jim. Thank you.